Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Chatney Stadium for tonight's Panorama National League game. It's Chesterfield versus Notts County. Chesterfield starting today's game in second place in the National League, just a few points behind Stockport County. Notts County themselves starting seventh place, just inside the playoff places. Both teams desperate to take the points tonight. The Chesterfield team sees just one change from the Yeovil game on Saturday. Saido Carney in the starting 11 at the expense of Joe Quigley, who is on the bench. The full Chesterfield team looks like this. In goal is number one, Scott Loach. Number three, Calvin Miller. Number six, Lawrence Maguire. Number nine, Aquasi Asante. Number 10, Liam Mandeville. Number 16, Jim Callaghan. Number 20, Jeff King. 22, Jamie Grimes. 28, Saido Khan. 29, Alice Whittle. And number 30, Tom Whelan. The Chesterfield bench tonight is number 13, Melvin Minter. 12, Tyrone Williams. 27, Joe Quigley. 32, Fraser Kerr. And 39, Joe Rowling. Notts County come to the Technique Stadium. And their side looks like this with just two changes. Frankie Vincent and Callum Roberts both back in the starting lineup. In goal is number 13, the British Lauzados. Number two is Richard Brindley. Number four, Kyle Cameron. Number 26, Jaden Richardson. Number 23, Adam Chickson. 17, Frankie Vincent. Number 18, Matty Palmer. Number 10, Callum Roberts. Number 20, Ruben Rodriguez. Number 19, Elisha Sam. And number nine, Carl Watton. On the bench for Notts County is number 16, Dion Kelly Evans. Number five, Colin Rawlinson. Number 11 is Aaron Neman. Number seven, Cairo Mitchell. And number 27 is Zach Brunt. Tonight's referee, just going across to the uh, tunnel there at the moment, is uh, Scott Simpson. And Scott Simpson is from Stoke. It's his third visit here this season to the Technique Stadium. In the opening home game here against Wheelston, he refereed a 2 0 win for Chesterfield and then was back in November in the first round of the FA Cup when Chesterfield beat Southend by three goals to one. Will he get his own personal hat-trick tonight? Well, we're just waiting now for Scott Simpson to get the teams away at the start of this Vanderham and National League game, and away we go. Chesterfield versus Notts County. The Spyrites in the familiar blue and white. Notts County's black and white stripes are giving up tonight for the green shirts and black shorts. And straight away, it's Notts County racing down this left-hand side with Adam Chickson. An opportunity here to put the Notts County defence under some pressure as Whittle throws it to Saido Khan. Khan forced to back trap, but he made a good turn. Play on, says the referee. Khan lays it out to Miller. The cross comes in from Miller. King was in there. And the strike from Jim Kellerman goes high and over the top. Jim Kellerman, who got the goal on Saturday, the winning goal against Yeovil Town, with a spectacular shot into the corner of the net. This time, unfortunately, he sends his first effort over the top. So Jeff King with the free kick. It's an in swinging ball. And Lawrence Maguire, they think he, I imagine it's Kellerman actually, that got the header there. Jim Kellerman, it was. Once again, well wider than Notts County goals so far. Vitislav Jalos hasn't been tested. Whittle. Notts County have it back again, and the chance here now is not to get down to the byline on that far side, but Alex Whittle recovers well. A good recovery there from the left back. County come forward again. This is Richardson sprinting round the back. Gets the cross in. Sam with the header. A weak header from Elisha Sam. He got, he made contact on it, but no real power behind it. And Scott Loach with a fairly comfortable save, I would have said. So Jeff King takes the free kick. Everybody makes the run inside the penalty area. The ball goes in there, and Jamie Grimes rose highest to make the header. But unfortunately for Jamie Grimes, it was over the bar. He's only scored once so far this season for the Spyrites. But he very nearly had a second goal there. Maguire to Whelan. King. Mandeville made the run ahead of him. It's still Jeff King at the moment. Grimes. Oh, and a chance here. It is deflected there. A chance here for Rodriguez. Grimes gets back. And Rodriguez has to concede the throw in the end. Great defending by Jamie Grimes. 
It was his attempt at the a ball forward that was deflected off the Notch County forward. Rodriguez was in, but Grimes recovered really well there. Nice little ball through to Mandeville. Whelan. Chesterfield building here. This is Jeff King on the ball now. There's four blue shirts in that penalty area. The ball goes in and Miller gets round the back. And it's out for a corner. Asante just inside on the edge of the area. Still Calvin Miller driven the cross. Miller once more inside the penalty area. Laid back here for Kellerman. Kellerman's shot blocked there by the defender. I think it was Rodriguez. And now Knox try and get forward here. Elisha Sam's made the run. Gets the ball from Vincent. It's Sam now with King at him. He's got past Jeff King. Sam with the shot. And Elisha Sam scores for Knox County in the 40th minute of the game. He got past Jeff King and he curled the shot past Scott Loach. Elisha Sam giving Knox County the lead to the delight of those supporters behind Vosislav Janos' goal. Chesterfield nil, Notts County one. Elisha Sam, the goal scorer. King with the high ball. Comes out to Saidu Khan. Laid back to Whelan. The cross goes back in again from Whelan. Grimes with the header. And away again at the back there on the edge of the six yard box. It's Tom Whelan now on the ball for Chesterfield. Khan tries to take it round Vincent, he's done well, Saidu Khan and Jamie Grimes almost in at the near post but well stopped there by Jaros. Chesterfield threatening, to, threatening an equaliser before half time, Jamie Grimes are lucky not to have got it there. And we've got three minutes of added time to play, this is uh, Roberts now. And Notts County look to get another one here. Roberts with the pullback, and it goes wide. Rodriguez claiming a corner. The referee says goal kick. So we've got three minutes of added time to play now. We're already about 20 seconds into that. King. Cameron didn't make the header. Asante with a chance. Appeals the handball, the referee says nothing doing. Asante with a chance there and Yaros claimed it in the end. Cameron. Back to Yaros. Closed down by Quigley but not quite quickly enough. And the header there by Watton into the path of Rodriguez. Following up now is Sam Notch County on the front foot here. And an important header there by Lawrence Maguire, this is Roberts now, Roberts tries to curl the shot, Miller almost come out to Frankie Vincent, instead now Saido Khan clears for Chesterfield, pushed there by Cameron on Quigley, and again the referee says play on, for the King to take the throw to Mandeville, Mandeville with the ball in, chance for Quigley! And Joe Quigley just couldn't quite connect with it. And Jalos makes a relatively comfortable save in the circumstances. But uh, Joe Quigley there, a great opportunity to get his first goal in a Chesterfield shirt. Kellerman again. Jim Kellerman now striding forward here. Plays the ball out to that far side of the field. Mandeville. The cross goes in from Mandeville and pushed round the post by Jalos. Chesterfield corner, the first corner of the second half, going for the Spyrites. Plenty of jostling in the penalty area there as the ball goes in, it's headed away by Cameron. The shot comes in from Whelan. And now Mandeville, played out wide to King. Jeff King to the strike, and well saved by Yaros. Out of play for another corner, that was a good strike there from Jeff King and the goalkeeper has done really well to make the save. King, Mandeville into the edge of the six yard box, Grimes, chance here for Saido Khan, lays it back out again. 
chance for King, lays it off there, Kellerman! And again, Jim Kellerman shots over the crossbar. He's had a couple of those tonight, a cracking goal against, Notts, against the Oval on Saturday, but he can't seem to find his range tonight. Santi and Quigley at the back post, it went near post and got towards Grimes. This is Maguire, lays it off for Khan. Whelan, good skill from Whelan. Chance here again for uh, Mandeville. Now King, Jeff King to the back post. And then he's home! Chesterfield at the equaliser! It's Lawrence Maguire who gets the equalising goal! Chesterfield the level! 61 minutes in, and Lawrence Maguire becomes Chesterfield 19th goal scorer of the season. Well robbed by Kellerman. Kellerman into the path of Quigley. Quigley shots just wide from Joe Quigley. And again, a great opportunity there for Chesterfield to have had another goal. Joe Quigley still looking for his first goal in a Chesterfield shirt. Out to Roberts on this near side, the Notts County right. Callum Roberts taking on Miller once more, cuts inside. Oh, great chance here for Notts County. It's Rodriguez. The shot's well blocked by Grimes. And I think it was uh, King back there. The ball's still in play out there on that far side of the field. Notts County looking to retake the lead here, but that one's going out of play, and it will be a goal kick. Palmer. And now Brunt. Richardson. Wide is Roberts. Callum Roberts taking on Miller once more. Richardson round the back here. It goes over the... off the leg of uh, Lawrence Maguire, who looked very worried for a moment like he might have turned it into his own net but it's actually gone behind for Notts County corner it's Notts County's first corner of the second half good turn by Rodriguez turns into trouble with Wheeler still Rodriguez though referees must play on Ruben Rodriguez great tackle by Maguire firm and fair great stuff from Lawrence Maguire and now Jim Kellerman tries to put Quigley in here this is Joe Quigley with a chance to score but the lineman flag again has gone up on the far side and although Quigley missed it, it would not have counted anyway. And now Brindley just gets it over the head of uh, Rowley. It's Rowley on the ball now though from Saidu Khan's pass. Joe Rowley back into the path of Saidu Khan! And chipped over the bar by the goalkeeper. Saidu Khan shots and Jaros again makes the save. And Chesterfield have another corner kick. Good skill by Tom Whelan. The ball over the top. Chance here now for Asante. Quasi Asante shot. And Rowley coming in there, but the goalkeeper alert to the danger. Yaros with the save. But got his career at Manchester City. He's 24 years old now. He had a loan spell at Rangers in Scotland and also played for Torquay United. Rowling, Joe Rowling with a chance, good save by the goalkeeper, Joe Rowling was bang on target there, Jaros making the save, can't please it wide now to Miller, Calvin Miller with the cross in once again, Rowling couldn't reach it, it comes out to King, and again the goalkeeper turns it round, for the corner kick, Chesterfield threatening now with five minutes left of the 90, Again, there will be stoppage time, Annie, but the Spyrats here trying to find the winning goal. King with the corner. Mandeville and Whelan further back, everybody else in the area as the ball comes in. Oh, and it's alive! And it's Maguire again! Lewis Maguire gets his second goal of the night! Maguire hits it over the line, and Chesterfield has the lead. Silence at the North County into the ground, but delight from those Chesterfield supporters. Lawrence Maguire doesn't get many goals in the season, but here he's got two in just one game. It's Chesterfield two, North County one.
one, I think, trying to delay things more than anything there, but uh, as time ticks down, but there will be some stoppage time. It's uh, Mitislav Yaros takes the free kick. Grimes gets up there well for the header. Asante now for Chesterfield, looking to lay it off to Wheeler. That's a great ball through for Mandeville. Liam Mandeville could be in here. Rowley springs it into the area. Mandeville goes down. And the penalty is given to Chesterfield. Scott Simpson points to the spot. And Mandeville went down there. It will be a penalty. And this now surely will finish it if Chesterfield can score. Ashanti, scorer of four goals since he came back from injury so far this season and it's going to be a quasi Ashanti to take the penalty but that, uh, Mizislav Janos has been a good goalkeeper tonight on loan from Liverpool the 20 year old has made several good saves already now he has to make another one it's Ashanti with the shot and Ashanti with the goal Chesterfield making 3-1 and surely now, the points are with the Spyrites. The Quasi Ashanti gets his fifth goal of the season from the penalty spot. And it's Chesterfield three, Notts County one. Palmer with the ball in. Oh, and great save by Lokes. The header from Rodriguez, saved by Loach and away by Whelan. Superb save from the Chesterfield goalkeeper. Keeps the deficit for Notts County at two. Another opportunity. We've just about had the five minutes of added time now. It's all down to what the referee adds on after this. Palmer takes the free kick over to the back there. Away by Mandeville. Out of play for a Notts County throw. It's all down to Scott Simpson, the referee now. We've gone over the five minute mark. Niman takes the throw. Brunt back against Niman. Zach Brunt once more. The referee checking his watch. The ball comes across to Rowley, who heads down nicely for Whelan. Whelan back to Loach. And the final whistle goes here at the Technique Stadium. Delights on three sides of the ground as Chesterfield beat rival Notts County with two goals from that man, Lawrence Maguire. It's not very often a Sunday defender scores twice in a match, but Lawrence Maguire has done a superb job tonight with those two goals. It was Notts County who led, first of all, a very well-taken goal from Elijah Sam for Notts County on 40 minutes in the first half. It was against the run of play, really, but to Notts County went in with a half-time lead. But then in the second half, it took a while, but eventually, uh, from a set piece, not, uh, Chesterfield pulled the goal back on 61 minutes when Lawrence Maguire headed home with the back post to make it one apiece. Then, on 86 minutes, Maguire did the same thing again. It was more of an untidy goal, but it was bundled over the line to give Chesterfield a 2-1 lead in the game. And Lawrence Maguire, I'm sure, the hero of the night, a man of the match as well for most people. And then to, to put the cherry on the cake, so to speak, it was a quasi Ashanti's penalty. After Liam Mandeville was fouled in the penalty area, Ashanti struck home his fifth goal of the season from the spot. And after that, it was always going to be too much for Notts County to do. But as the players come round and applaud the supporters here, it's been a really good game tonight by both teams. Notts County have put up a good game as well. But that man, Lawrence Maguire, will be the hero tonight with his two goals. Chesterfield to players applauding the fans though who back them all the way tonight in an excellent game and a really important game as far as the three points are concerned. The final score here tonight is Chesterfield 3, Notts County 1.